Let's talk about money. I mean, this is CNBC. A new survey by Wells Fargo finds that discussing personal finance is harder than talking about religion or even politics or death, and, but almost as hard. Uh, to talk about not on this network it's not talk hard, about it's like, talking about money no we talk about it a lot right? all day long the other stuff is hard for some people yep okay talking about money is what uh senior cnbc senior personal finance correspondent sharon epperson does uh, best so sharon take it away well joe we're talking about a wells fargo study and they did a deep dive into how people feel about money surveying just over three thousand adults about eighteen hundred women and sixteen hundred men now, when asked directly about the difficulty of talking about sex compared to finances, 47% say having an open and honest conversation about their money is more challenging than discussing their romantic life. Half of women are reluctant to talk about money because they consider it a private topic compared to 41% of men. Women are also more likely to say they don't want to talk about money because they feel they may be judged. Age made a difference, too. More than half of younger women tend to say feeling judged made them avoid talking about money versus 35 percent of women overall. Now, financial advisors and wealth managers, for them, the takeaway is to think about how you frame conversations with clients so that men and women feel like they have control over their own choices and are not made to feel like their ideas are wrong. When it comes to money and investing, we hear this all the time. Right? People feel like there are stupid questions, but there really are no stupid questions when it comes to that. We all need to come to money where we're at on our terms, both psychologically and literally, so we can make the most of it. While a large majority of respondents overall say they have a clear picture of what they want to do with their money, almost half report having no more than vague financial strategies to reach their goals. And women are more likely than men to say their strategy is vague or they don't even have one. For more on women and wealth, join me for a CNBC special event one week from today, Tuesday, March 5th at 1 p.m. Eastern. At this free virtual event, we'll bring together top financial experts with advice to set yourself up for success. And you can scan the QR code right there to register or go to cnbcevents.com slash women and wealth. Joe? Did the study look into where people actually go for financial advice? What's, what's fascinating is they go to friends. They go to Your friends, friends far more than they go to a financial advisor, maybe even seeking advice from parents or other family members. But financial advisors, not as great as what they were doing with their friends. And then a small percentage, but a, a significant percentage still, are going to financial influencers, bloggers, and other folks for advice as well. I still feel like we can help in this, and what well, we are right now. We obviously. are. Absolutely. But we do this how many hours a day? I don't know. We do it a lot. Did you say 12 to 15 hours, hours a day? We do totally. it a lot. You mean a live we programming? Lot. Yeah. I mean, talking about money. Well, in Almost the U.S., 24 from hours. 5 a.m. in the morning, and if you include the international right. uh, CNBC, it's 24 Probably hours 24 hours. I'm and always talking about money. I go home, I talk about money, I talk about money here, I talk about money to my friends, you just shame my parents. You just shame us. So yeah. uncouth. Yeah. Such an uncouth <laughs> topic. <laughs> All right. But when you watch, when you're looking at TV and you're, or, you know, you're streaming stuff, people are talking about everything but money. They, right. You know, it's so open to talk about your romantic life, to talk about sex, but not to talk about money. Money, right. You That's know? weird. I, I remember when I was younger, I would look at the cover of, like, a Cosmopolitan and look... I would see some of the subject matter. It's like, you've got to be kidding me. It's on a magazine stand, and it's like <gasps> screaming this crazy stuff, but not money. No, no not money. One, one little column if you're lucky. Yeah. Who was that? that who was doing Cosmo? Was that, uh, remember, that lady that was in charge? I forget her name. But, yeah, I mean, that, that pushed the envelope. Um, thank you. Thank you, Sharon. Gotcha. Thank you. And you said, blame me, too, about 619. This was, this is you. This is... I didn't do anything except respond, but thank you. Andrew? I'm trying to figure out, I mean, I remember her so well. Yeah. Uh, Helen Gurley Brown. Yes. Yes. That's, that's exactly what I'm talking what about. You're thinking about. She revolutionized what? Women's magazines. Yeah, what you can put on the, cover, put on the cover of, of a magazine. magazine.